Hi friends. Just wanted to do a quick video on the Sarah Everard murder. Supposed murder. I think it's complete bullshit. Uh, anybody who doesn't know from, who's possibly not from Britain, uh, a lady called Sarah Everard, aged 33, went missing on the 3rd of March, 33, uh, after walking across Clapham Common, CC 33. Um, from the moment she went missing, it was plastered all over the news media. Everybody was getting bombarded with the name Sarah Everard and how this 33 year old woman had gone missing whilst coming home from a friend's house. What wasn't mentioned was that that's a complete breach of COVID regulations, but anyway. Um, well, Pate might not be, maybe she was in her bubble, who knows? Although we are in lockdown, so she shouldn't have a, maybe it was a support circle. But anyway, that's just me uh, giving her a bit of fucking credit, if she even existed, which I doubt. Um, I believe that she probably never existed, as in the person Sarah ever had. I believe that she was never murdered. Uh, you know, what made her so special over all of the other people that were potentially reported missing in the same time frame. Why was she plastered all over the news media from the fucking get-go from the first moment? Only to be found, supposedly found dead, just over a week later, and apparently the murderer is a police officer. Basically, this is just a gender, it's just a, an agenda push. It's a fucking load of bullshit. In the last week in Britain, we've been hammered with Harry and Meghan Merkel and their fucking explosive claims of racism against the royal family. Uh, suggestions that Britain is overtly racist, which I disagree with because I'm not racist whatsoever. Um, I can give a fuck what people are if they sound, they sound, and if they're not, they're cunts, fuck them. Um, but now it's all about women's safety. And I think that there's more to this than meets the eye. Because in the few days that we've been told that she's dead, there's been all sorts of cries for women's safety to be increased, including a fucking serving lady of the realm, I don't know what the exact term would be, but a person who sits in the House of Lords is calling for a 6pm curfew of all men. All men, not men with fucking, that, uh, that happen to be on the, the offenders register, just all fucking men should be fucking stopped from going out after 6pm. Fucking, not wrong with that, is the fucking stupid cunt. On top of that, they're on about more than doubling the surveillance package of cities so to make women feel safe this is all under the guise of making women feel safe they're about putting up more cctv this morning i've even heard talk about undercover police officers are now going to be sent out when obviously after lockdown it's going to have to be after lockdown isn't it when pubs and bars and restaurants and shit opens up they're off to put undercover coppers just to sit in fucking bars and nightclubs to make women feel safer you know, I mean, there's nothing to see here, folks, is there? I'm actually working in the little market town of Market Wheaton, starting from tomorrow, um, and that's where Sarah Everard allegedly comes from. When I say close net, it's pretty much fucking inbred. Uh, I'm off to have a fucking good chat with some people. I know lots of people there, because I live quite close to it. I moved into the area, I'm not inbred. <laughs> well, not, not much. Anyway, I'm off to have a good chat. Because if she was fucking real, I'll find out if she was fucking real. If no one knows her, it's absolute fucking bollocks. If you ask me, she looks more fucking Eastern European than anything. So I'm saying that she is a fucking actor. And this is a fucking psyop. And it's a load of fucking agenda-driven nonsense. End of rant. Bye-bye, friends.